I'm Zach Sikowski, driver of the number 90 Kenda Backed Pro 2. I've been in racing since I was about seven, eight years old. I started off in go-karts, racing dirt tracks, uh, road courses, pretty much anything in the Wisconsin area that we could race. That kind of evolved into getting into off-road racing and my start in off-road racing was actually ATV racing. I did a little bit of motocross, mostly cross country, um, but that was my beginning into off-road. From there, from the ATVs, I moved into side-by-sides and it's just kind of been a natural progression in off-road, just moving up into bigger, faster things. The transition from side-by-sides into Pro 2 trucks, um, it was something that we were talking about for quite a long time, you know, probably three years pretty seriously, you know, five, you know, in total. Um, but it just kind of got to a point where I was getting kind of bored with the UTV stuff, been there, did it, you know, we were competitive most places we went, we had fun, um, but it was just, it was just time to, to get, to move into trucks. Um, the trucks were always my goal, going back to me being 12 years old. It was just always the goal and everything that I did before that was just a stepping stone to get to the end goal. Um, so it was, it was talked about for a while, but the real thing that kind of sped it up was um, in 2017 at Crandon, I had a pretty nasty crash in my side-by-side, -side, broke my collarbone, had to have surgery, pretty nasty concussion, and it was just time after that. It was just time for big trucks, time to have a little more safety around me. It was just, it was just naturally time. Um, and after that, we sold all the side-by-side -side stuff and pulled the trigger on the Pro 2, and here we are. As far as the pro trucks go, you know, you got the pro lights and the pro specs, and then you got pro two and pro four. Uh, the pro specs and the pro lights are like a mid-sized truck. You know, they're based off of, you know, Ford Rangers, stuff like that. So they're just smaller, less suspension travel, just the overall package is smaller, less horsepower. And then your pro two and your pro four is like a full size just as big, if not bigger, than a full-size pickup truck. Pro 2 means that it's just two-wheel drive, where when you go to Pro 4, that designates them as four-wheel drive. So that's the biggest difference between the top two um, big truck classes. So short course off-road racing, to me, is probably the most exciting racing or motorsport that exists. It's just, it's unlike anything else. Uh, it's kind of, you know, like a high-speed demo derby in a way because it's just, there's just a lot going on. We're turning left, we're turning right, we're jumping, we're, you know, we're flying up to 200 plus feet, you know, and it's just wild. You got anywhere from, you know, 500 to 900 plus horsepower trucks out there. You know, it's an aggressive sport. You know, you're beating and banging off of each other whether you're trying to or not. It's just aggressive, all out, you know, dirt flying. It's just body panels going everywhere. Um, try not to make it a demo derby, but sometimes it just looks like that because of all the carnage going on um, and everybody trying to hold on to these big trucks. Uh, so, for example, you know, kind of the carnage that happens is Crandon, we have turn one, which all the trucks start from a dead stop, we're running, it's similar to a motocross hold shot. And we have, you know, 10 to 20 plus trucks on that line they throw the green flag and we're all going into the corner together trying to see who can get the whole shot. So you have, you know, up to 20 trucks that weigh 4,000 plus pounds and, you know, up to 900 horse going into the corner. I mean, we're going into there close to 100 and you, as you can imagine, things get a little chaotic and hectic and, you know, we're all trying to stay off of each other, but it, there's a lot going on at 90 miles an hour going into a corner with 20 trucks around you. So another thing that makes our races so crazy and hectic and enjoyable to watch is the tracks. The tracks are changing non-stop the whole time we're out there. With these trucks being so big and powerful, every lap they're just destroying the track. Lines change, ruts get huge. Luckily with the Kenda tires, we have the triple threat sidewall that helps us get through that. Um, but that's just some of the things that we're dealing with out there. You know, you catch a rut, trucks want to flip over. Um, at some of the tracks like Bark River, we have big jumps that we're flying like 200 feet and get a lot of air. 
and the series will designate that as like a no touch zone just because it gets so sketchy in those areas. So there's just a lot going on, a lot changing. Um, so even, you know, there's times on the track that we all roll over or have a mild accident, you land back on the tires and away we go. As long as nothing's broke, we just keep going. Um, there's, no, there's no stopping for little things or rain. Um, it's just all out a very raw form of racing. This year we're racing on five different tracks, two of them we race twice at, but each track has such varying terrain and obstacles or things that can damage the tires. They're all just very different. So, you know, in order to be successful in this and, you know, win championships or races, get podiums, things like that, you know, you have to have the right tires to pick from. So like luckily us, you know, we have the, the Kenda AT2, the MT2, the Cleaver to pick from. So we can, we can switch up at each track and get the best tire for the best conditions. You know, and that's, that's number one. And number two is just having tires that can survive these races. You know, like we were saying, how aggressive and everything that happens during these races. At the end of the day, a lot of races are lost or trucks don't finish because of tire failures. You know, there's there's parts laying out on the track, you're getting hit by other trucks, you're landing side loaded, you have all these different things going on that are literally trying to destroy your tires. So having the right models to choose from, which we do, and then just, you know, being confident that our tires are gonna survive and watching the competitors have to pull off because they didn't. So luckily, you know, we have the AT2, which is Kenda's all-terrain tire that really seems to help us out on the more like hard pack, blue groove, dry slick type tracks. And then for when conditions get really muddy or rain or weather kicks in, we have the MT2, the mud terrain that gets us through that stuff. And then my personal favorite is the Cleaver RT, which is definitely the Swiss Army knife of all the tires we have. Uh, you want something that's gonna work good everywhere, it's the RT. So all the tires we run, they're the same ones that you buy, they're DOT approved, they have the same standards, they're coming from the same factory, they're the exact same compound. We don't have special compound tires that are softer and get better grip. Um, we are running the same exact tires as you. The only thing we are changing is maybe running a different air pressure and we do a little bit of custom grooving on them. People ask us all the time why we have to groove if the tires are so good. And the tires are good enough to not have to groove. Um, but, you know, being racing and trying to be as competitive as you can, there, there's all sorts of other factors for us, you know. Grooving the tires takes a little bit of weight off, which frees up horsepower for us. So if the tires have more grip than we need and a little less grip would be okay and we're losing weight, that could be a reason that we're grooving. The tires were designed by the engineers to be great overall for everyone on road, off road, general consumers. Uh, for us, you know, we're not worried about things like how they balance or road noise or how long they last. You know, we run a set of rear tires for one race just to get peak performance out of them. And, you know, so we want them to wear out. If the tires aren't worn out at, at the end of a race, then they weren't working hard enough. So, you know, we add some grooving to get them to get a little hotter um, during a race, which makes them, you know, they wear out faster. But again, that's kind of what we're going for. So we're really making modifications to them to um, that the general consumer would want to do. Um, it would probably make them worse. Kenda focuses on the engineering of the tires, making the best tires that they can, not so much on marketing and having you know commercials everywhere and, and spending all the money on branding. So that's part of the reason that they're able to bring such a great value product to the market at a fraction of the price of some of these other big names. So if you've never heard of Kenda tires before this video and don't know where to get them, just reach out to your local Kenda Tire dealer and they can help you out. If you don't know who your local dealer is, you can go on kendatire.com and you can do a dealer search on there and it'll show you your nearest dealer. So if you've never experienced one of these short course off-road races, you should definitely come and check one of them out. You can find the schedule on Champ Off-Road's website. Um, you can follow along on Kenda social media. You can follow along on my personal and Come on out and check one out and see for yourself and you'll see what all the fuss is about.